What's up guys, another monster here, anothermonsterproductions.com. Today I wanted to make a quick video answering a question that I saw on Facebook the other day and in a group. And uh, the, the question was, if you're running MIDI and you're trying to do one of these like cutouts where the drums cut out and the instruments cut out and everything, um, how do you do that where like the delay and the reverb within the sound doesn't bleed over past the cut and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here I'll, I'll play this track for you uh, I created this beat just for this tutorial it's very simple but I chose a synth that has some ping pong delay so that it carries on past uh, the point so let's take a listen here I'll show you what I'm talking about so you hear what I'm talking about that that synth has this ping pong delay that goes on past there and we want to get rid of that so how do we do this well, there are a couple ways. Um, one would be to highlight this section where we want it to go and we could automate it. We could automate the volume fader like directly on the instrument or we could go in here and automate the master volume fader. How we do that is we right click and create automation clip. And then once you have that, you can just right click to change points and do this sort of thing. So um, that would be one way to do it. This guy actually said that he tried doing this and didn't like the way it sounded. So I would recommend doing this. And this is a good thing to do anyway because it's going to freeze up some uh, or free up some CPU space. Um, and what you want to do is you want to freeze out this MIDI into uh, an audio clip or bounce it down to audio. Um, so one cool thing about FL Studio is you'll notice these tabs here. And this right now is on automation clips. We could go here, which is audio and then we can go here, which is MIDI. So this pattern one is my MIDI pattern. And if I want to bounce it down into audio, I just right click and render as audio clip. So click that, then click start, and it will go ahead and render to an audio clip. And definitely make sure that you're doing this as a 24 bit wave. Um, if you don't do it as an MP3, MP3 is a highly compressed format. And also try and go down here and do 512 point sync if you know if it's not too slow on your computer. Um, so then once it's finished rendering, go in here and uh, you'll now have this as an audio clip, your pattern one. So then you can just drag this directly over here. Um, you may have to get rid of some of this excess. So you get rid of that and um, we'll mute this one and we will go ahead and just paint this long here. <clears throat> so now we have the flexibility of actually going in here. Uh, let's get rid of that. And this is just so much quicker and so much easier. Um, get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of that. All right, cool. So now we have our track. We have like all these cutout places. Let's just go ahead and take a listen. Anyway, you get the idea. You, now you can do all these cool things. It's, it's so much more flexible and it's so much easier to control. And you're freeing up some CPU as well. Um, there is another way you could do this. You could go in here and you could highlight the section that you want, solo that, um, and then just bounce it out regularly, uh, file, export, WAV file. Um, if you wanted to go that route, you could do that as well. But FL Studio 20 is making it really easy to just do it within. Um, so I suggest doing it that way. So if you guys got any value out of this, please go ahead, hit the like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to get notified when I'm going to be releasing new videos, hit the bell notification and you'll be the first one to know uh, every time I do release a new video. I'm trying to do one every week, at least more if I have time, but I've been pretty busy recently. So uh, keep an eye out for the next video. If you have any questions about anything in this tutorial, go ahead, leave that in the comment down below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you guys have. So I hope this was helpful for you. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.